Hey, everybody, I want to welcome you all. We are talking to Kim Nguyen today, who's going to be part of the Python Web Conference. Uh, Kim, you and I go way back, and I believe we first met at a conference. And that's one of the things I love about going to conferences in person, but we're doing this one virtually. I mean, what, what are you looking forward to when it comes to the Python Web Conference? I know we met at a conference. Maybe you can talk a little bit about how we met. It's always a good story. I'm not really sure the world is ready to hear that story. But uh, what I'm looking forward to at the Python Web Conference is all the great talks. I mean, there are some really awesome people, community leaders, technology leaders who are going to be presenting. And I just feel like it's a great opportunity to learn from experts. And so um, I've been around in Plone and Python for a while, but I feel like there's so much still to learn and so much more to acquire. And then yeah. it's, it's a fantastic opportunity. And the way we've done these online conferences is great too, because we don't just sit back and passively watch some of these things and kind of go, well, that was nice. We can actually ask questions and we can chat with people. We can exchange ideas with people. The hallway tracks are fantastic. The track chats are great too. So you, you actually get to interact with like-minded people who have the same interests you do. Um, it's, it's been great. And so I'm yeah, looking forward to this Yeah, you joined us at, a, at the Indie Cloud Conf just about two months ago. What was your favorite yeah. aspect of that virtual conference? We had a gas in the chats. I mean, there yeah. are some great people, some of the great characters. Uh, they would just, we'd start talking about something and we'd say, oh, have you looked at this thing? And you'd learn a whole bunch of new things that you never would have imagined. Um, it was great. And it was a mm -hmm. lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So you'll be one of our speakers at the upcoming Python Web Conference. What could people look forward to talking to you about or hearing from you? Well, as, as a lot of people know, I've, I've been really in love with Plone. You don't um, say. I know, it's, it's subtle. It is. <laughs> and, and Plone has been uh, near and dear to me, as you know. And, um, and, and part of it is that when I create websites for people, uh, whether it's intranets or portals or workflow applications or just, you know, simple sites. Um, one thing I really love about it is that it's secure and I can rest easy knowing that the website I put up isn't going to get hacked. It's not going to get defaced. I can go to sleep and not worry about somebody's, somebody having to call me or page me in the middle of the night. And that to me is one of the great strengths of Plone. And it comes from Python's security too. Um, and so what I'm going to talk about is some of the great ways that Plone has baked in security so that your site, your applications are just secure by default and all the ways that that happens and some of the ways you can use that to, to your advantage when you're customizing a site. If you're creating workflow applications to replace paper processes with online processes, Plone's workflow is uh, fantastic. Um, you, you almost can't go wrong with yeah. the security that it puts in place yeah, for second, you. Second to none, I've, I've not found comparable products that really have the same matched feature quality as Plone in that case. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I'm excited. I'm really excited about Python Web Conference. I'm excited you're going to be joining us for the conference as one of our speakers. I assume you'll be hanging out all three days, kind of in the chat channels, and maybe joining us for the socials afterward. You bet. You bet. Awesome. Well, Kim, I look forward to it. Thanks for being with me today. Uh, we'll see these interviews up on uh, Twitter and all the other social media, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.